Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are doing an updated what's on my iPhone. I actually feel like I really like the way that my phone is set up. I really like the apps that I have. And I did just also update to iOS 18 and I did some cute things with that. So we're gonna be going all through her today. This is the 14 plus and I do have the purple color, which is really cute. I have a case to fight phone case on it. I always get questions about my phone cases. This case is literally so adorable. It has flowers on it and a heart of pearls. And I also have a phone chain on it. So this can help like hold your phone phone you can use it on your wrist it adds a cute touch i actually have four super cute cases from case divide to show you and case divide is actually the sponsor of today's video which i'm so happy about because these cases are gorgeous they truly exceeded my expectations the designs are so cute having cute phone cases truly makes such a difference i feel like every time my phone case is cute i'm taking mirror selfies i just feel happy every time i look down at my phone it feels like a reflection of my personality and i also really love switching up my outfits depending on my phone case like it's another accessory for your outfit Fit. First case that I picked is called the Color Cloud case. This one is MagSafe compatible and honestly, it's so gorgeous. It's got this beautiful aura color gradient thing going on and I love auras. Case just screams summer. This is like going on hike, going to waterfalls. It's fun, it's colorful, it's bright and super bubbly. The next case that I picked is the Pearly Heart case. I feel like this one totally fits my personality. It kind of gives like coquette soft vibes, but I honestly love pearls. I wear pearl jewelry all the time. So I love pairing this case with pearl jewelry that I already normally wear and it looks perfect and I also love the pink I love the flowers and I love how it has green accents with the flowers as well because those are my two favorite colors I think because this case gives such soft delicate vibes I really liked pairing it with a bow in my hair a cute pink top and a white skirt to really fit this dainty look this next case that I picked is so cool it's called the you are stars collage case and it looks like a bunch of stickers are stuck onto the back of your phone which is so fun there are so many different colors that you can pull from this case to match to your outfit but I kind of pulled from the pink and also the black accents on the case and I paired it with a more edgy pink and black top and a black mini skirt. I think this would be so cute honestly for a night out, like a little star girl vibe. And I also paired it with the really cute foam charm to tie in the cherries. These foam charms are everything I love and more. I didn't realize how not only cute but also extremely useful having a foam charm would be. I also love that this one is full of pearls because like I said, I am a pearl gal. And the last case that I picked is this Cherries Jubilee case, which is all clear, it's MagSafe compatible and then it has red cherries with pink bows on the top of them all over the case. I love and adore this case and I think that tying in the red accents of the cherries by wearing a red top, even a red lip would make for such a cute look. And again, this case is clear so you can see the color of your phone underneath and even though I have a purple phone which you might think would look weird with pink and red, I honestly loved the look of my phone color peeping through. I thought it was so pretty. This of course goes perfectly with the cherry charm as well. For a limited time only, be sure to check out Taste Buy and shop my link in the description to see some of my favorite cases and have my 15% discount code already applied. Now going on to the interior of my phone. This is my lock screen, which I actually really love. It's like a little pink aura. I think that it's cute. I set the font to this fourth one because I think that one's the cutest. I, I like that color the best. And I do just have it as gray. I thought black was like a little too harsh and white didn't show up super well. And I have a Spotify widget, a weather app widget, so I can just quickly see that's from my weather bug app. And then I do have two widgets from the night sky app, which I love. So it shows me like the cloud coverage and the moon phase, like what percent all the moon is. Now going inside my phone, this is what my homepage looks like. So these are all the basic apps that aren't too exciting. I have, you know, the phone, my calendar, photos, which I of course use a lot, and my camera. I actually don't really use stocks, voice memos, compass. I use the clock sometimes, but they're just there, I guess. The podcast app, which I do use, and then reminders, news. Notes is like my favorite app ever. I use it all the time. I basically write every thought that I have in there. The Apple Store contacts, wallet, and settings. At the bottom here, I have a widget that's from iScreen. So it's a calendar just to show me like the date and a little calendar view there. And at the bottom, I have four of my most used apps ever. I use these apps every single day. My messages, Safari is my browser of choice. It always has been, so I use that a lot. This is the YouTube Studio app. If you are a YouTuber, it's the app where you can reply to comments, you can see all of your analytics, you can do basically everything from this app. I guess I'll kind of show you not everything because I don't want to show you like the personal stuff but like you can see the recent videos that I posted and then like here's where I see the comments and I can heart them. I can reply to them right there which is super cute. This is the YouTube app which of course I use. I actually don't feel like I watch that much YouTube anymore. Second page. This one's a lot cuter. So at the top I have a widget which is so cool. This widget is from iScreen as well so you can go into the iScreen app and like they have tons of widgets and you can actually 
actually press this button and change the picture. So I preloaded a few pictures in there and then it just cycles through them. And then down here, these are my most used apps actually. So we have Instagram. Here's my Instagram in case you were curious. I have been posting on here a lot. I've been loving doing highlight reels. So I have like my September highlight reel where I just post little moments from throughout the month. My Snapchat, probably my primary form of communication. I have find my Spotify, mm, favorite app ever. I love it, I'm a Spotify gal. I have quite a few playlists. Let's, let me show you a few of them. This is my cozy fall playlist, which I've been listening to this one a ton because it just gives those cozy fall vibes as the title suggests. I've been listening to my day lists a lot too. Spotify makes these for you. So I don't know, depending on I guess the type of music you listen to at that time of day, it gives you a playlist for it. There is my podcast. And if you wanna listen to my playlists, my Spotify is Sophie DiLoretto. Here is the Stardust app. This app is so cool and so cute. This is a period tracker app. It actually shows how your cycle syncs up to the moon. And you can also add your friends on here and like compare your periods. <laughs> I know that sounds funny, but like it's cute. Honestly, it's cute. Next we have, this is actually the Spotify for podcasters app. So it's like, cause I have a podcast. I now have this app, which I think it's so cute cause the fact that it's purple. And then we have Notion, my pride and joy. I use this thing every single day in my whole life is organized in here. The page in Notion that I use the most is the content planner, except I honestly basically use this as like my calendar. You see how there's a dot on every day. It's cause I fill out everything I need to do. So like this is my to-do list for today, but my my homepage in Notion is called Sophie's Life. We have some cute little quotes, some pretty pictures that I like, and these are all my Notion pages. I might do a Notion tour one day because I have so much in here. Like, as you can tell with all these pages, my whole life is in here. I use the reading journal for every book that I am reading. I'll show you that page. So I do the start date and the end date of when I start and finish the book. Some of them I read faster than others. And in every book, I have like notes from the book. So if I press open, it shows me the notes that I took, which is a great way for me to remember, you know, what I read. So we have FaceTime, very basic, use that a lot. And then TikTok, also use that a lot. These are some of my TikToks. I think they're pretty cute. <laughs> Next, we have Pinterest, another app that's like the love of my life. Find so much inspiration on this app. I have a board for everything. So cute. There's just constantly cute ideas. I do have some private boards on here, but I have a lot of public ones. And then the CoStar app, which I actually don't really use, but I do have. It's like a horoscope app, but I don't like read horoscopes or like look into them. But I am a Gemini with a Capricorn moon and a Sagittarius rising, if you were curious. Oh my god. Today it says I have trouble with everything. Today you're feeling nervous. <laughs> Great. Then we have Netflix. Currently I'm watching the show The Perfect Couple with my boyfriend though. So every weekend we watch a few episodes, but like I'm waiting on him to finish that. I was watching The Uglies movie, but I have to finish that. I'm actually currently watching Handmaid's Tale on Hulu. I'm almost done with it. So that's what I've been like really watching. And then here we have a Spotify widget, which just displays one of my Spotify playlists. So that's the one I was recently listening to, my 2024 vision board playlist. And then we go on to the next page. This page is all the rest of my apps. I don't like to keep it too crazy. So these are my only pages. At the top, we have another widget from iScreen and this is a daily to-do list. So it says breakfast and read, emails, tidy house, smile. <laughs> I just have two small widgets. This one is from Pinterest. I think it's going to my 2024 vision board. So that Pinterest board is just like things I want to happen in the year. So it's kind of nice having them pop up here like all the time. I think the pictures change every hour. So it's constantly pictures of like what I want my year to look like and the other widget is another one from iScreen it has the date and then I have a little quote that I wrote which just says what a perfect day to be proud of all the progress you've made which is so cute the entertainment folder we have Disney Plus Max Prime Video those are all movies shows you know watching things I rarely use Shazam but if you hear a song playing in public and you're like what is that song you can Shazam it so I occasionally use this but it's nice to have stats FM is so cool because I love looking at like statistics of things I don't know I just like I love little quizzes and stuff so this is cool to me this shows me my listening history it, like shows me what genres i listen to what my top artists are for music bro my top artist is this kinder records thing because i've been listening to affirmations every single day that's crazy but these are like my top songs in the past four weeks which a lot of them are these affirmations and frequency music but that's you know that's how it is and it also shows you top artists in the past you know however frame of time which wow the kinder records and miracle tones really they're really up there but this is who i've also been listening to lately no way my top track in the past six months is manifest your greatness I might be protecting my piece just a little too much. And we have Hulu, Guitar Tuna. I use that to tune my guitar. Pluto TV is just another app to watch things on because I swear everything I want to watch is on a different streaming service. So we have my Apple Watch 
app. And then the second page, I just have SoundCloud, Apple TV, Threads, which is like the like the Twitter of Instagram. I don't really use it. And we have the Fire TV app as well. And that's like so I can control my TV without the remote. Next, we have education. Some boring apps, calculator, Google, Gmail. I use Gmail every single day. We also have files, mail, Google Docs, Duo Mobile. That was like the app that's a two-factor authentication app. I also have Duolingo so I can practice my French. Ling so I can practice Albanian. And then I have the Google Drive app. And then Utalk is also for Albanian because not many apps have Albanian on them. The next folder we have is health. This app is the Blue Cross online visits app. So like with my insurance, it's the virtual medical care app for it. And then my quest allows me to see lab results from blood work and stuff. Sleep cycle I actually used to use all the time, but I don't really set alarms anymore. But what's cool about sleep cycle is it wakes you up when you're in your lightest cycle of sleep. It kind of listens to your breathing, it gives you stats based on your sleep. So like these were older stats from when I used to use the app. I actually haven't used it in years, but it shows you when you wake up in the night as well, which is really interesting and like your quality of sleep. <laughs> See, it says movement, talking. <laughs> That's really cool if you do need alarms because it will set a time frame to wake you up. So you can say like, wake me up between six and 6.30 and then it'll wake you up when you're in your lightest cycle of sleep so you aren't so groggy when you wake up. Then we have the Yuka app. Yuka allows you to scan products and read about the ingredients. Yuka is not sponsored by anyone. Like nobody pays them to put their opinions on here. So I do like that about it. You can see like different items I've scanned. It kind of just talks about the ingredients and it allows you to read about like why the ingredients might be a risk. Like phenoxyethanol, that's in a lot of beauty products. It's not necessarily bad, but you're allowed to read it and you even get the sources of like where they're getting the information from. So I really like it. I use it to scan beauty products and just get an idea about like what's in my products. And we have the health app. I use that usually to look at like my steps. The My Colors app, this one is so good. If you don't know what your color season is, I really urge you to go to colorwise.me. It's a website, it's like free. You just upload a picture of yourself in bright natural lighting, like with no makeup, and you can use the app to figure out what your color palette is. So I'm a soft summer, so like these are some of the colors that look best on me. And my mom is like a soft autumn, so if we're kind of shopping and I wanna see like what would look good on her, what would look good on me, you can scroll through here and select your color palette like for my mom a soft autumn I can click that and be like okay these are your best colors and it's just really nice it's good for like your makeup for your clothes what's gonna make you just look radiant and I have the aura app I love this app as well I use this for my meditations they have tons of meditations on here like sleep meditations gratitude meditations mindfulness meditations. and then I have the food recalls app the emetophobia girlies know. I don't wanna eat anything that has a recall on it. So anytime there's a recall, I'm the first to know. I'm the person that's like, guys, did you know there's a recall on cantaloupe? Like, if you wanna be in the know about recalls, this is the app to get. It's like an abundance of caution. I would rather be safe than sorry, and I'd rather know these things. So there's the fitness app. I have the Equinox Plus app, which is really cool. It's like home workouts. Then we have the business folder. I don't know if that's the best name. It's kind of like finances. So I have Experian, definitely recommend Experian experience for looking at your credit score, your like FICO score. I have LinkedIn, which I don't use it a ton anymore, but like right when I was, you know, in college and I was trying to like network and add people, I would use that a lot. Etsy seller, I'm not selling anything on Etsy, but I tried to like a few years ago, so I have that app still. Handshake is like LinkedIn for college students, so I still have that. Skeepers, I have never used this, but like an app that allows you to get products gifted to you to like post on TikTok or Instagram about it, but I've never done it because I don't know. I saw somebody post about it on TikTok, but like I've never actually used it. <laughs> Wealthfront is so cool. I always would hear people say like, get a high yield savings account, get a high yield savings account. And I just felt like I did not know how to do that or like which one to get. But I did a lot of research. I ended up getting Wealthfront because they have one of the highest APYs. And then you get like a 0.5% boost, like right when you sign up. And then when you like refer a friend. So I actually referred like both my mom and brother to it. And then we both get the boost for longer extended periods of time. My bank account, my regular regular Comerica account, I think I get like 1% interest on it. So I'll literally have like thousands of dollars in there and I'll get like two cents a month for having my money in there. Whereas if you have a high yield savings account, you get way more money on it. So it's just like making money on your money. Definitely like do your own research on it. But if you have some money in a savings account or you're like trying to save up, it's really just like free money. That's what it feels like. But do your research. I obviously don't know everything and I'm not claiming to. And then I have the Comerica app. That's where I have my bank. This is the Comerica credit card app. And then I also also have another credit card with Chase. I have the Chase Freedom Unlimited right now. And then we have 
TubeBuddy, which is like a YouTube analytics app. I don't really use this app, but it's cool because it shows you your milestones. There's like a keyword explorer function. So if you're like someone who makes YouTube videos, you know, it's cool to know. It's cool to be able to see. And this app is actually really cool. It like added a VPN to my stuff. It made me realize how much more secure I could be with my like virtual stuff. So I'm really glad to have this. You like where your passwords have been leaked so you can change them. It scans like every link and everything that you receive to make sure that there aren't like scam stuff in it. This is like navigation stuff. So we have Apple Maps, Google Maps, except Google Maps and Waze are my choice apps. The picture mushroom app is literally for when you see a mushroom and want to know what kind of mushroom it is. The night sky app, that's for seeing constellations, for seeing like where the moon is, where the planets are. Let's just see. Okay, there we've got the Aquarius constellation. Libra, Venus is over there. I use this all the time because I love astronomy. And the All Trails app, I use that for hiking. I used it most notably when I went to Hocking Hills with my boyfriend. We were like logging some of our hikes. Next, we have travels. So I have Airbnb, Delta app, the Air France app, Marriott for hotels, the Verbo app, which is like Airbnb, but sometimes it has like different options. The Road Trippers app, it's really great for planning road trips and wanting to find stuff to do, like plan out exactly where you can go. We have Spot Hero, which is such a savior for if you need to find parking in a city. It allows you to reserve a parking spot and often for like very cheap. If you're going to a hotel and there isn't parking at the hotel or if you're going to an event and you want to make sure you have a parking spot before you get there, this is such a lifesaver. Weatherbug is my weather app of choice and Lime is for if you ever want to like rent scooters in the city. <laughs> I did this in Paris as well. And then we have Expedia, which is another travel app. You can look for flights, for trips, hotels, and airside. I honestly can't even remember what this is for. It has something to do with your flight. My mom told me to get it. <laughs> oh, it's like a mobile ID. Next we have edit. So I have lens buddy. You can set up your phone and do self timer and then it will take burst of pictures. Like it will take a bunch of pictures. You can select the ones you want to keep. Preview is what I use for planning out my grid on Instagram. So like these are the posts that are already actually posted and then up top I will import pictures if I'm trying to plan out my feed and just decide what I want it to look like. Dispo, I don't really use that but it's like a filter app and then square ready also don't really use that i think it's for putting orders on your pictures but i like the in-app editor on square ready so that's why i still have it cap cut is what i use to edit tiktok so you can see some there that i've been editing next is visco i really love visco but i just don't post on it much anymore because i'm posting on so many other things lien photo is for my little lien printer so i can like print out cute little pictures straight from the printer it's super cool and iScreen screen is what i use to make a lot of those widgets i showed you on my phone it has a lot of options it is kind of annoying because you either need to pay or watch ads but I just watch the ads like here are some of the options that they have so there's the MJR app that's for like the movies H&M Depop I do sell clothes on Depop we have Etsy I buy a lot of my jewelry on Etsy I always get questions about my jewelry 90% of it is from Etsy we have the Ulta app fetch which you use to scan receipts and get points which you can then use the points to get gift cards so I've gotten quite a few like Amazon or Target gift cards from there the Target app uses this all the time I'm constantly shopping from Target. PacSun and then Condado Tacos, which my boyfriend and I love their tacos, so we're constantly going there. We have Sephora, Grailed, which is good for like buying used streetwear items or like nicer kind of items. Cider, StockX, I like that for buying shoes. And then Loyal Zoo is one of these like loyalty apps for a place that I like to go to. Free prints, I think you can get like 80 or something free prints a month. You just pay for shipping. Amazon, Skims, Brandy Melville. And then we have Poison, which is another great app for buying shoes and shop. I think that's like a tracking app. They do have shopping on there as well. I think that's this whole page. The last thing is just my library. There are some apps on here that are not on my home page. I do have some games in here, but I didn't want a whole nother folder because it didn't fit properly. So the games are in there. And since I don't use them much, it's like if I ever want to play a game, I'll just search for it. You know what I mean? The last thing I'll show you is this. This has some of the new iOS updates, as you can tell. So the things that I added to make it a little bit cuter are these circles at the bottom. You can see the ones that say love which is just really cute i also added this heart and this moon and these are like quick links they take you to the certain app that you hooked up to them i also have a few different focus modes i have one for like my morning routine i have a self-care one stay focused i use that one a lot that's just like when i want to do my work and be locked in and you can set it so that you'll only receive notifications from certain people and if you want to make one of these because i've gotten questions about that as well you just press new focus and then you can set it up exactly as you want i think that's everything. Comment below this emoji if you watched all the way
way up until the end of the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of me and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out Case Defy for some super cute phone cases. They will be linked in my description. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.